Hello YouTube and welcome to Portal Revolution. So this is a So this is a fan-made mod. This is a fan-made mod for Portal 2 that is basically a prequel. It is basically a prequel for Portal 2. And this takes place in between Portal 1 and Portal 2, basically, where it's the aftermath of GLaDOS's well, death. <laughs> Except it's not really death, because, I mean, you find out in Portal 2, but... But it's basically before Chell wakes up. Which is kind of interesting to think about. And there's also apparently, like, there's a bunch of new mechanics and all that. I really want to see what this is about. It actually, like, came out... I think it came out, like, a couple days ago or something. And yeah, like, I've been kind of excited to play Portal 2 mods ever since I came back to play Portal 2. I've been really wanting to play them. I wonder if the story of this collides with the story of Portal Stories Mel. I have no idea. I've actually... I need to play Portal Stories Mel. Like, I've played Portal Story... I think I, I, I... Like, I kind of played a little bit of it, but I couldn't... I didn't finish it. Unfortunately. Because Mel's also between 1 and 2. I should check that out. I really should actually... Like, beat that game. But anyway, let's begin. Starting with the human resource. Ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chapters. Eight chapters is about as along with uh, Portal 2. Uh, do I spoil it? I would I would say no. That way I can figure it out when I play that. Because I do want to play Portal Stories Mill. But yeah, let's begin. We're just laying in bed. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting light, though. Why is there just a light? <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks similar to shells. It's a microwave. Good morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. Wait, 36 years? Bruh. <laughs> Is there 932? There's a monitor? I don't see a monitor. <laughs> Paper, phone. Yeah, where do you see a monitor? I see a microwave. To be accepted into the human oh. emergency response team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please wait, what is that? The button to accept the terms. Wait, 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 wait. I, didn't, I didn't even send a contract. What did they even say? Uh, well, uh, fine. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> the door will open in three, two, one. Let me actually turn on the audio like a little bit. Just a little bit. 
I, I was literally wondering where the freaking monitor was, but no, that makes sense. <laughs> Am I? This is. Huh. This is actually quite interesting. There's the blue gel. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed the blue gel so much. The blue goo. Why is that glass already broken? I'm concerned already. <laughs> This is it? <laughs> I did it! Yay! <laughs> Puzzling! <laughs> may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. Whoever this voice. Will participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Okay. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. Hmm. The music's pretty neat. I will say that. Wait, cube and button-based testing. They actually have titles? Oh shit. There's nine chambers, but they actually have, they actually have names. Interesting. One of this room. Okay, so let's move this real quick. We need to figure out what's in here. What does this button do? Does this just get rid of the? Oh, it does. Oh, that was simple. <laughs> Please be advised that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but it's an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. Why am I sliding? <laughs> Why am I sliding? Why am I only sliding here? That doesn't make any sense! I just wanted to look at the freaking hole! <laughs> okay, then. Well, that was something. Ooh! Auto run reference! Okay. I need you to come over here. Oh, I think I get it. So I need to. Yeah, I need it to shoot here. 
And then, I can't jump over this, no, because I, so I need to get this to move here. Yeah, like that. So it's like you a more advanced version of it. possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations and, as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. The, the safety what? <laughs> I want to see if you... I want to see... I just want to see a few things out of curiosity. Yeah, you can't do that because in Portal... I, I remember... In Portal 1, you can just, like, walk out of a portal, but but this is Portal 2, so technically you can't do that. You can't, like, walk out of portals while shooting it. Because it will just... Because it will just work like this. It will, like, already, like, remove the portal. What the hell is this? Ooh. This is very neat looking. Just having this little tunnel like this. Where are we going? Oh, is this just... Oh, this is a neat way to show the elevator system. Oh my god. I've never gotten to see the elevator system from like this. Oh my god, that's actually very neat. That's actually very neat looking. Like, I've never seen it like that. So does that mean over there there's another? Hmm. That's very neat, that's how the actual elevator system looks. Performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Gets rid of both. Okay. I will say these uh these little like in between test things seem pretty neat looking, honestly. Cause it's just I don't know. They're just very unique. They seem unique so far. Oh, I can't break that. Fizzlers 102. Okay, so that wait. I didn't read the. I didn't read the name. I didn't read the names. I want to see how unique they are. Okay, so... So this gets rid of the Fizzler, right? Yeah, this gets rid of the Fizzler. Good. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I find that funny. <laughs> Fizzler. And put that up there. 
Oh, I can. I need the cube. I need the cube. Give me cube. There. And oh. stop. Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. <laughs> first and last. Oh man, if only I had the second portal. Ah, <laughs> uh, I always love to have fun with that. Unfortunately, there's no second portal. Not yet, at least. Okay, what do we have here? I don't think I've seen this one before. When does this show up? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. The thermal danger announcement. I, I don't think I've ever seen this one. If someone actually does know, please let me know. Like when this show, like where this is from. I'm actually curious, because, like, like, if this is actually from anywhere, or if this is, like, something they made. I'm actually really curious, because that's actually quite interesting. I, like, that's actually something I've never seen before. At least I don't remember it. Lasers. Ooh. Oh boy, deadly lasers. Excess may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. Oh. Oh, it turns into a deadly emancipation grill. Oh, wait, what? What does this do? Open the door? Yeah. So, put it through here, it turns deadly. Interesting. I think I know what I want to do. I think I know what I need to do. What I need to do. Yeah, something like that. And now what I need to do is jump to the portal. In a way where I don't get hit. There. That's actually quite interesting. I, I, like, I've seen the... I think I have seen these ones before. Like, the... The Deadly Fizzlers. Like, I've seen, like, the... There's, like, a different version of this where you can shoot through it. Which is in the actual main game. Like, you see in the main campaign. But... This, I think, is like, I think it's like a custom, it's an asset that's only able to be used in the, uh, I think it's in the, um, like the ones you can make. I think these are in, I think, because I swear I remember these. Completed the test. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. I just want to explore. I don't know. I just like exploring stuff. I'm trying to explore more because it's like. It's 
especially in a game like this because it's like, I don't know, I, I like seeing things. Oh, this is just the end. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a thing. Yeah, it's just that laser one I haven't seen. It could be... I'm trying to think if it is it possible Before that Before starting with the next test chamber, we would like to remind you that so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. That was a lot of not. <laughs> a lot of not. Um cubic button reinforcement. Interesting. I'm sorry, I, I, I was thinking I was hearing voices for a moment. <laughs> it was just the music. Alright. Um, wait, what do we look like? Interesting. I wanted to see what we look like. We definitely look different from Chell. Um, I guess we'll go over here real quick. I don't know that. Oh, there's a fucking... There's, there's a button right here! I could've just done that. There. Now, uh... Put the portal there. Uh, wait a minute. Now, how do I get? portal would be a lot more useful. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I could just respawn the cube. Yeah. Yeah, just respawn the cube and there we go. never thought about just respawning the cube. I've actually never thought about that. Like, I've never thought about needing to respawn the cube. Interesting. Alright, more lasers. More deadly lasers. Okay. Oh, I don't even need the... <laughs> You're lucky this time. I'm 
conservation of momentum. <gasps> momentum. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. I'm like, huh? Switch the. How do I switch the orange portal though? Oh, we actually see the. The other test chamber. Number. Oh, wait, is that. Huh. So where. Well, how do we activate that? I feel like what we need to do is activate that. How does that get activated? Oh! So this turns on that one. So this switches the orange portals. I see now. So what I need to do... So I actually do need to start from here. How do I... Unless... Unless what I do... No, because I'm too slow, right? there would be the first step, but this is kind of the reason why I thought over here would be the first step, but I don't know if it is. I'm confident. Now I need this. Unless I can press the button from here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it just automatically closed. Unless, wait a minute. Oh, I'm stupid. I got it. Hold on. Yeah, just like that. So now, I got that. Now I can get this box. Oh, wait. Right, the, the, the button. <laughs> uh, well, this is interesting. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's easy. Just do the same thing on this side. so many different ways to go. Seen the require speedrun tricks? Although I'm at the beginning only. Like, so far I'm at the beginning, so. I don't exactly know yet. But so far it doesn't. So there's. to do the current test stuff. So what's over here? So that's the end. What's, what's over here? Oh, these are the um, previous tests, I think. Like that we just did. I think. Because Which one's this one, then? Oh no no, this is the uh the switcheroo. Yeah, this is the switcheroo room. Where you don't even need a portal. Huh. Honestly pretty neat. But no, so far it doesn't really seem to be like, requiring speedrun tricks, it does seem pretty reasonable, like, you... Some of them, like, some of the puzzles seem to be, like... Like, kind of a... It's not really tricky, it's just more so just, like... Like, it makes you think about things in a way where... You don't normally think of it, like... Like, for example, the, the puzzle where... You were actually required to... Basically, for example, the one where you were basically required to despawn and respawn the the cube is interesting because I don't know if there's actually a puzzle that does that in the original game. I don't think there is. Like one that actually requires As a consequence you. of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. But yeah, I've never seen a puzzle that did that. 
Very unique. Very a faith plate. So we get to fly high in the air. Just stay there? Oh, it's in the wall. Oh. No, oh, I can't see. Put that there for now. What the? Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. <laughs> there. Try that. I was expecting to get flung backward. <laughs> Alright, is this correct now? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh no, does that mean this one's not? <laughs> oh, where is this gonna fling me? Do I, have to, do I have to make sure something's fine? <laughs> Alright, so wait, so where... So that one's that. What is this one? That's that one. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> why there are holes in the ceiling. <laughs> I didn't expect to go that high up. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I want to go back up there real quick. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I need to think. Okay, so there's that. But that's not high enough. I need to hit up. I need that button. Because that, I think, will angle the, the portable platform there. To getting me where I want to go. But first, I need a cube. Which... Let me do that real quick. All right. Let's put that cube. Let's put that over there. And then when I hit the switch, it'll make it go through a loop. See? Now I need to catch it. I missed. <laughs> oh, it's probably like barely off too. That's like the worst part. All right, come on. There we go, perfect. All right, so now I can get this. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's, that's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. Oh, wait, I could have just... No, I couldn't. Wait. Now I can. There's a ball? Oh, yeah, there's a ball. Enough. Oh, that's enough. Nice. Well done. From now on, all aerial faith plates should be configured correctly. I promise. I freaking hope so. <laughs> hey, at least he's. Hey, at least this game has humor. You know what? I I'll give them that. At least this has humor. I'm glad about that. Ooh, light bridges. Well done, candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. What does that mean? Also, why is it so dirty? 
<laughs> Why is this one particular floor very advanced the laser? Oh, there is no light bridges. You lied to me! <laughs> I was promised lasers! I, was, I mean, not lasers, but bridges! What the hell? Hey, what is this? Okay. Alright. So what does this do then? Is this just one of the end goals? Yes. Okay, so that's one of the end goals. That's to raise the platform. Something over there. Trying to see real quick. I'm trying to like look around. I need to be on this by the time that laser hits. I wonder if there's another cube. Is there another one? I can barely like see up there. Does it just stay up there? Seems to just stay up there. Wait, is there a way down? No. I <laughs> should imagine. This. Kind of like. Partially looking around, like thinking that they're probably gonna put secrets in. There has to be some way to. So I need to beat this laser, it seems like, but. Oh, 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 I got it. I, I, I actually just got it. It's actually a lot more simpler. That way you can have control of where the, when the portal hits it. When it hits the laser. There. Oh. Hey, I see. I didn't go as far as I expected. Uh, yeah, I can't grab a mirror. All right. need to do let's do that no this is easy this is fine so I need to portal there portal about there then how do I get that
doesn't seem to be. Is there another way of hitting it? I don't see anything that actually would match that height. My only problem was that in order to get over there, I would need to use a portal. Unless I'm missing something, which I definitely am. seem to be missing something. There must be a way to get over there without a portal. Maybe I, I can go from here to here. Oh, respawn the cube. Duh. Again. Again. <laughs> it's another respawn the cube one. I don't think about that. I literally don't think about respawning the cube. You usually don't. I, I usually don't have to. As a reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. 4,000 degrees, jeez. Uh, all right. It's the final test. First steps come down here, grab a cube grab the cube. What? Not that you can't do anything with it. Unless What does that do? Would allow me to use a light bridge to bring it to the exit. Anything specific I can do with the light bridge? Oh. This opens the door. I think the big thing would be figuring out a way to unlock that. Doing that, okay. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> I think I messed up already. <laughs> Or did I? Okay. How about this? Out of curiosity. I want to see what this faith plate does. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm fine then. Because... revolve around just, just respawning the cube. And a lot of the challenge is like actually thinking that you can do that. Like actually remembering you can do that. Well, what the? Sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, faked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no after science human emergency response team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down, after all. The Guardian and Intrusion system doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. It, what? <laughs> this paper about? What is this about? Maybe it will eventually turn green. I will keep doing this. <laughs> I know this game. I can do it. Uh, there will eventually be either a green button or some kind of achievement. Come on. I know games like this. Come on. <laughs> this isn't a thing, is it? This is a, this is not a thing, is it? This does nothing. <laughs> this does nothing, does it? I'm just wasting time. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to assume this does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Leaving presentation room. Where's the checkpoint? Oh. That's certainly ominous. What? Oh. Interesting. Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter. <laughs> no signal. There it is. Hmm. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, I get it. Okay, 
Okay, so I need to... Okay, so you have to stand in the scanner to get yeah. registered. Any plan how? I, I knew that. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out... Maybe what? that portal can help again. You know what? I'm just gonna let you talk, you know? Because... I just like wasting your time. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure that door right there doesn't open? Okay, we can check. Okay, now we know. Was worth a shot. <laughs> Can't believe that actually did. <laughs> well, here's an idea. Maybe you can try and squeeze through that counter right there. Or are you too voluminous for that? Voluminous? <laughs> I can't even jump up there. I can't even jump up there unless there's a. Have tried sprinting? Oh, I can crouch. I'm up. running out of ideas here, honestly. Yeah, I I can't get under here. <laughs> I was just trying to see if it actually interacts. Is it actually interacting with this one? Which yeah. I was surprised. About. How about that? Let's try to run as fast as possible. I'm not Sonic the Hedgehog. You listen here. <laughs> Go on. You know how running works, don't you? I'm just gonna do it. Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Wait, why am I a janitor? <laughs> what? Why am I? Can I go, can I go home? <laughs> All right. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Can I just go this way? I'm assuming well, yes. Not everyone gets this position, you know. You should be proud. More like everyone does. What is this? Game Design 101? Interesting book. From 2016. It's about outdated. One person profile, push chart changes regularly. Full day keeps the merge conflict away. Interesting. I don't think I've seen, have I seen that one before? I don't know. Rather new. Cleaning up after humans that don't oh. exist anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I need to do oh authorized personnel. Okay, that makes sense now. Wait, I'm just pressing a button. How do they even know? Because it's just a button. Unless there's like some scanning thing there. All right then, up we go. No, I thought this was just bait. I didn't know this was actually like really where I had to go. I didn't know this was where I had to go. I had no idea. The default route. You probably noticed by now that the facility isn't in great shape. It's a long story, so I'll cut it short. The central core in charge of maintaining the facility has been put out of commission. I tried to look after the place in her absence, but I don't have the tools. Good news, though. I found better tools. A device capable of repairing the whole enrichment center. Only problem is that only a human can turn it on, so I hoped maybe you could fill in that role for me. The life of every human in core in the facility is at risk if we don't stop the collapse. Come on, let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. But the problem is I'm not authorized to do that. I probably wouldn't be authorized to do that since I'm a janitor, right? I mean, I guess technically it is cleaning up people's messes. Variable testing and aperture. Huh. 
Some of these look new, huh? Right. We need to get closer to the surface. I found an elevator in this direction. <laughs> I was like wondering what the hell that was. Drop, toss, ignite, touch. Pick Rick Acid. Pause to detonate when moderate amount of shock or friction is applied. Huh. I don't think I've ever heard of that. That's probably a thing. Either that or something entirely made up, who knows. Ah, oh, the beans. Ah, oh, the can of beans. Ah, oh, it reminds me so much of Ratman. Up ahead is the turret disposal facility. Since they're all defective, they shouldn't be able to hurt you, but still be careful. Wait, turrets? Oh god. Oof. What the hell? More turrets. You might think that their pain is only simulated, but how is it different to yours or mine? They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry. All their scrap will be recycled for production and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. Wait, only surplus? Wouldn't you want to keep them stockpiled? I mean, I guess. It's very interesting looking, though. I'm scared. I'm scared. That looks pretty neat. Also, ow, my eyes. I probably should not have done that. Ah. You know when they say don't look at the sun? That's pretty much doing that. Jesus. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Except like, you know. So, I'm looking through your records, and I see you have a family. How are the kids? Oh. Oh no. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I am so sorry. Yeah, Bina, I've been here for 36 freaking years. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> you probably wouldn't want to know. Actually, I don't know if I would want to know. I don't know. Does that mean they're dead? Does that mean... I, I don't know. I hope they're fine. What are these things? Why is it so dark? Wait, I could have just taken I could have just taken the stairs? Taking the stairs? Hold on, I'm gonna actually. Turn down just a little more. Just a little more. Live turrets. Uh oh.
Yeah, they're definitely blowing. So what's down here? this way. Oh, I can't go anywhere further. Am I just trying to take this into the that room? I'm just assuming it needs a button. I don't know. It's just that. Oh. Well, that was easy. I'm trying to see if there's a way down over there. Alright. Hello. So how are you doing? Sorry about your family. across that bridge. I'm sure you'll figure it out, so I will wait right ahead. service somewhere. That one's where I just came from. fully block my path. Now how am I going to get over there?
really trying to go that way. Can I make that jump? <laughs> I don't know if I should try. Whether or not it will work. It didn't even look like anything was over there. It's the only reason I didn't try. Who knows, maybe there was something over there. How does it feel to be an official Aperture employee? Yeah, must be great. Though on that topic, don't try running off without me, okay? Yes, I made up the human emergency response team, but so what? It can still be real. You are human, this is quite an emergency, and you are responding to it. Not quite a team yet, though. Hmm, I don't know, a team can't consist of one person, that doesn't make sense. I could get more people, that seems like a lot of work. You know what? I think we two make a great team in of itself. You might not make a fully human team, but you can't always get what you want. Semi-human? I'll go with that. To get back on topic, here's my proposal. You help me repair the facility, and I'll let you leave. What is up here? Uh... Where'd I leave the disc at? Where'd I leave the frisbee? Oh, it's right here. Oh, wait. I could have just went up here instead of just going up the ladder. I mean, the ladder would be fa The ladder was faster. Does this work? No. It's just... The frisbee doesn't work. Uh... Oh, okay. I said, what the hell? I wasn't expecting to go that fast. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why did it go that fast? <laughs> like, that went so fast. Like, what? that do? What did that do anyway? Did that just open the door? Oh no, that, I think it opened this. Right? Oh, where's my frisbee? Frisbee! <laughs> Observation facility. Humans had to sit here all day and watch you test subjects solve the chambers. In real time, too. Imagine. Wait, there was an insert disc. Uh. Shit. I don't think I was supposed to get rid of that frisbee. Unless there is, like, a disc around here somewhere. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a disc around here. Oh, there it is! Get out of your chair. There's actually a disc. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it? No way, that's it. There has to be something else. 
There has to be something else. What? I don't understand. Did that not do anything? I guess not. Unless it's... Oh, wait a minute. Was this open? Unity. Like that game engine? Exactly, did anything. Yeah, I'm starting to think that didn't do anything. The V237 schematics. Wait, is that the thing from. Is this the. Is this the Aperture Black Mesa thing? Or is this something different? Wait. Is this model? This is something different, actually. I've only seen the one that involved the uh, crash between Aperture and Black Mesa. This is something different. What is this? Observation room on the other side that can take you to the elevators. I'm sure you can find another way in there. You're pretty resourceful. I mean, I appreciate that. Does I say cooperative testing? It does. This is a cooperative testing chamber. chamber. something else I need to do. Right? trying to do. Into that second, I'm trying to get in that co op chamber. 
right? Yeah, I'm trying to get near. Now... Let me try blowing this up. So now... Now what? Well, I can get back. Well, no, I can't. Okay, no, I can. I can get back. Uh, okay. Interesting. Keep it on. Go, 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 go. I think I know what I need to do. So let me temporarily turn that off real quick. Yeah, okay. Now I know exactly what I need to do. Another thing to add to the never ending to do list. Uh, now we should be done. But since there's only one person, how am I gonna get out? Yeah, there's no way out. I think we should at least we should be done with the bombs. You finally found the exit. Those bombs are a menace. 
Honestly, the cameras are more of a, a menace. What did I say? Oh, do not block. <laughs> the irony. That's oh, very territory hook. Oh. Die, hit the button. <laughs> Oh, I do have to hit the button. I have a surprise for you after this last little hurdle. I know, I know. I promised no more test. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> well then, here you go. I'll wait up ahead and uh, prepare some things. Take your time. Well then, <sighs> guess I gotta do more tests. What the hell is this? When do I get a second portal gun? When do I get... <laughs> when do I get to shoot two portals? <laughs> uh... Interesting pit. Uh... Where's the box? Okay, the box is there. Where is this going? Okay. It's over there? What does this do? What does this do? I don't even see what it does. Oh, did it move the orange portal? Oh, wait. Laser switch there. Okay. I think I understand. So. first. I want to... See, the big question is where am I trying to redirect it? There's a portal there. Uh, okay. Okay. 
see, now the problem is getting over there, because... Yeah, I think I fucked up. I think I actually fucked up. Or did I? Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just need this. Yeah, I literally just need that, and then... <sighs> okay, so now... Oh yeah, one more thing. Eh, anyway. So there's just one thing now. As soon as I go through this, the portals are going to be gone. Uh, and what I feel like... I need the orange portal to be there. Let me actually look over here real quick. Let me just get a good look over here. Yeah, so it's exactly what I thought, so it's just that. And now there's no way back. Uh, besides that. I need... Thank you. Because I need this cube to be here. I feel like. And I feel like the reason I need that cube to be there is... Because then the orange portal will be here. And then I can use the blue portal to put it here. I think what I need to do is make sure the orange portal is activated here. But the main problem... But the main problem that I'm having is getting here to where this is. Unless there's... Yeah, there's no... Yeah, I don't see a faith plate. So it's literally just me trying to get to that. Without it. So the only way to really do that, I think, is just this. As far as I can tell. 
we try going back over here and see if I can. Yeah, I can put a portal here. The problem is this is gonna respawn that cube. I'm gonna respawn that one. That's the exit, I think. Over there. I don't know why I looked portable. It looked like a portable surface, but it's not. The door there. Let me go back here real quick. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, there's like no way up there. Besides... Besides the light bridge. Which I can still do, but just like... The problem is that there's a point where I can't rely on it. Like, I can't have the light bridge. Unless... Gotta think. This is a way to do it. problem, though, is... I can't really... I mean, I, I can technically, but just... Like, I have to do... I have to do that. Too low. It, it, it's, I, I will say this is probably kind of cheaty, even if it did work. That probably would be kind of cheaty, even though, even if it did work, because like, I mean, I don't think this is technically supposed to be intended. I don't think you're intentionally supposed to like be able to do this, like at all. The light bridge will be gone, however, I still have the orange portal. Which all I have to do is just put that right there and I'm done.
This is actually quite interesting, honestly. I like this. I'm actually really having fun with this. Alright, what is this? Surprise! What? What's that look on your face? Did you expect something bad? Yes. It's an actual elevator straight to the surface. Rare find. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so I thought this would excite you. But this doesn't make any sense, but I didn't... I thought we were supposed to solve the collapse. What? This doesn't make any sense. You literally said we had to solve the collapse. <laughs> If I believe you, sir, I, I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> Is there a way to go back? Is there a way somewhere else? Not a choice, I guess. <laughs> this does not look. But you literally just said I have to do something. That was not the. Th that, there's no way that was the thing. All right. Look, I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me, and I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably both at once, if I'm gonna be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. When we get to the surface, we still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. There's fresh air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. With any luck, this should take just a few minutes, and then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now. Wait, did that just say- Wait a minute, did that say something about cake? <laughs> I think there was a cake poster! <laughs> I think I saw a cake poster. <laughs> oh my god, the surface. What? Water. Go take a look out that window for a moment. Wait, what? See that huge spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging by how torn apart this place is, I'd give that chance a possibility of... Ooh, you know what? Never mind. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, this looks so cool! Like, look at it! This looks really neat! Like, we actually get to see the surface! And play in the surface. What? This is really neat. I hate to say it, but we need to find a testing track. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. Problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. Oh my god. This looks so neat. I don't know, I'm just... I'm in awe about all this. Like, holy shit. Oh my god, there's a lot of water. Wait, is
is that water or is that I don't know if that's water. It might be. I wanna go down there though. <laughs> to find out. Where's my second portal gun? <laughs> good find. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. But this test is broken. You need to find another one. Uh. Uh. Get. Oh, maybe we gotta take the box out of the testy track. Or maybe not. Oh, we just go right here. So neat. Like I'm still, like I'm still just like. I I don't know. Like I'm still just kind of amazed that I'm. Even, I'm even here. Like. Where am I going? Isn't this back where I just came from? Wait a minute. This is just back where I just came from, right? Yeah, this... What the hell? Why, why did I just... I don't understand. Does, is this that part I just what? <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to bring the Damn. Am I supposed to bring the cube with me or something? see it now. Alright, over here. Uh, this way. Balls. <laughs> what is this area? Wherever it is, it's certainly flooded. Is this a working test chamber? Maybe? How do I... That's much better. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. They really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. <gasps> Wait a minute, this is that one test chamber! Wait a minute! Oh my god, this is that one test chamber. Oh. Yeah, this is the one test chamber with, um, 
Where GLaDOS goes, we. <laughs> we. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because this is the way you go. Yeah, you go from. You start from here. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is that test chamber. Yeah, you like start from here and then you go to the right. Yeah! Oh my god! They brought back a chest chamber from Portal 1! They're like reusing a chest chamber from Portal 1. But just looking like this. That's really nice, honestly. Yeah, because that would be when Glass would say we. Oh my god. Did you know that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than 8 kilometers? Yeah, they quickly learn to limit the range on these things. Can easily end the whole world if you put a portal on the sun. Or in the case of putting a portal on the moon. that the surface is in such a rough state. I don't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough in their work. What is that? Oh, that's just some light, I think. Okay, so I need to get up there. Yeah. that. What does that do? That puts it over there. All. Oh. Fine, I'll do it like this. Alright. Oh, wait. Just like that. Up there. And that. Nice. Too. Oh, I just realized. You don't even know how this all happened. Well, long ago, Aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the whole facility. Certain tasks were outsourced to other cores, like me. Everything was great, you know? A true utopia. Until one human test subject, this little monster, just had to ruin our lives and killed her. And that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? Damn. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting just listening to this. Just listening to this whole thing and just how... Just, I don't know, just listening to their reasoning for... Like being completely against what Shell did, and I mean, obviously, they're gonna be like that because I mean, 
they were programmed on to work under to work under GLaDOS, in all honesty. I promised you could leave once we're done, but if you ever need a job in the future, don't hesitate to come back. Like, thinking about it, I mean... And without having that purpose... And I'm thinking that without that purpose, then they can't really work. I'd rather say this before it's too late. Use the gels sparingly. The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. Once they're empty, we're gonna have a little problem. The gels are also highly corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. Hmm, that actually makes sense. You know what? That actually makes sense. Mostly because, yeah. That does explain... Hmm. That explains a lot, actually. Think about it. So now we're getting gel. Where's the portal? Oh, there it is. Uh... Okay, where's the switch? There. Let me go down here real quick. See if there's a... Ah. Okay. So, I need that. Okay. I need to find a way to get there. Which this should certainly help. And do this, get the button. What the hell? Wait, what? Oh, this is gel. Uh, ah, what the? That was not what I expected at all. <laughs> like this anyway. Watching you fly through the air like that looks pretty fun. Sometimes I wish I could do the same. Wish you could too. I mean, as long as you, you know, actually have boots or anything. <laughs> as long as you have something to break your fall. <laughs> These tests were never designed to be exposed to the surface. We've not come across any toxic plants yet. But stay alert. There's a reason we don't do experiments in the open anymore. Yellow man's a whoa. You can't blame me for this. 
<laughs> you can't. <laughs> It's just, it's just random rainwater. Neat. Oh god, this tuts. Okay, so. Okay, where's the orange portal at? Is there an orange portal? I see one. What does this do? So this turns off the- Oh! Oh, it didn't turn off- Oh, yeah, the orange is right there. Okay. Um. Oh! Oh, that's pretty neat, actually. What am I trying to do? Oh, I see. So, I need to... Yeah. That was not where I was supposed to go. Yep. Is it this? Oh, it's this. I think I figured it out. <laughs> to put it here. I need to do this. So that this gets filled with blue goop. I need a cube, right? Wait, do I need a cube? No. If I can just go up there. Yeah. And then that portal there. Jump up and oh. nice. Bell emancipation too. Ooh, this is the orange gel. Congratulations on completing this test. We hope you enjoyed your experience at the Aperture Science Center for... Who writes these protocols? Is this all just randomly generated? Oh, of course you enjoyed it. We designed the test that way. <sighs> There's a reason I don't use those scripts. Could barely get through them when I first tested you. <laughs> Remember that? What did you think of my announcing voice, by the way? I've been practicing it. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Do we actually know them? Uh, okay, what's here? Wait, this creates the orange portal. Is there already an orange portal? No. There was never an orange portal. Uh... What does this do? Oh. Neat. 
mean, that test, I mean, that thing you only see in, like, in co-op. Like, you've only seen that in co-op. Wouldn't it be great to take a break from all the testing? Just to have a nice, long, warm shower under the cleansing fields. Washing your hair, watching your skin peel off. Yes, you heard me right. Don't try that. The fluid cleanses more than gels. Oh, I thought it was just water. Of course it has to be a fluid. Imagine if water was the only way to get rid of gel. Ooh, looks like that door's broken. Maybe I can reroute you. Let me see. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that! Glad these things still work. There aren't many working arm panels left here. Interesting. Interesting how... Interesting how this dude can control I'd that. I'd love to help you solve the puzzles, but even after watching hundreds of people solve and hurt themselves in these chambers, I still don't get it. I'll just stick to maintenance, if you don't mind. All about the simple things. I don't think this person... I, I don't think this, uh, or knows that they actually can't. Like, they actually can't help. Unless there's a way they actually can. Do not drink the water. It also kills you. So... What's up there? What does this button do? Gives me gel. Is there anywhere I want the gel? Probably there. Or I need to get rid of it first. I'm not gonna get enough height to do that. What I need to do, find a way to be able to, or anywhere that I can get height. Oh, that would have been. If only. So what's over here? Okay, this is a switch. any portable services I can see from oh. So what activates a cube then? If I do need a cube... It's that... It's activated by... Activated by what? Hold on, let me see what the switch exactly does. Okay, gets rid of the rainwater. Gets rid of the water. What exactly hits this? Gets me the cube. Okay, there is a button there. So I do. Is this gonna be enough? I don't know if this is gonna be enough. If I can even make it. No. I literally can't make it. What's down here? Out of curiosity, what's down here? see anything. 
really that helpful. I need to find some way to fling myself. Unless... Oh! Unless it's not about flinging myself, and it's more so... Launching myself. Yeah, I think it's about launching myself. All right. Let's go. Yep, perfect. Here's the next problem, though. How do I get in there? With the cube. That's the next problem. Is there a... Oh, there's a portable surface. Duh. <laughs> Maybe try looking for a portable surface. There we go. You're probably gonna hate me for this. <laughs> I think that's fine. Alright, let's do it again. Nice. I've been cleaning the facility since, uh, well, forever. When you think you've seen all the ways one could injure themselves, some moron will make sure to prove you wrong. I'm... what the... What is this? Is there any... Oh, I could just go through like this. Anything to do here? Oh. Secret passageway? Oh? Ooh, what is this? What the? What? What the hell is this? I can't activate this. Like, this doesn't do anything. What is this? Is this? What is the 
purpose of this? Does it have a purpose? What is the point of this room? It just makes a weird noise. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that was certainly weird. Yeah, there's like no way to go back without getting rid of the portal. Huh. I wonder what the point of that was. I wonder if there was a secret or something. I, I don't know. It just felt so weird that that was there. Almost as if there was a reason for it. Oh, looks like you're about to get an upgrade to your portal device. About time. This should make it much easier to navigate through this mess. Yeah, about time is, uh, right. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a freaking bird! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. Uh, what does this do? This. Okay, I'm trying to put that over there. So I need to get over there. Okay, first things first. Uh, oh, I can't get up there. Hold on, let me go back real quick. way I can how do I get it though oh there's a cube oh wait this isn't even deep water oh this isn't even deep I was I was so worried I was gonna drown it <laughs> You tell me this is not deep. Yeah, this doesn't even hurt me. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna drown it. <laughs> oh my god, give me this freaking thing. Fuck off, bird. Wow. What a wreck. Hope that doesn't blow in. Actually, try not to think about it. As long as you don't shake it, this planet might be fine. Okay, then. Okay. Uh... What am I trying to do, then? Laser. <laughs> I think what I was supposed to do is actually like Oh come on. There and here. Oh, I'm 
I, I find it funny how one of these little grabbers actually has like a bit of jiggle, jiggleness to it. <laughs> It makes me want to jiggle it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's going on there? I, I can't see you from here. I'm hearing some unfavorable noises. Are you okay down there? Try to find a test chamber. I can't see you there. What? What's happening? Uh... What the hell? So that's... Obviously death. That's obviously death. <laughs> something there blocking the door. Like, actually something there, not just... Alright. Oh, there you are. Wait, how did you get there? Ah. Well, that throws us off course a bit. Not catastrophic, but that wasn't planned. Ah, this list just keeps getting longer and longer. Uh... Yeah, let me keep that there. Let me see what's down here. I, I wanted to see what's down there. What? What was I even on? <laughs> Ooh. This take me. Oh. I'm somewhere I should not go. Alright. I am curious about one thing. Well, how the hell was I standing on there? Hmm. Oh. I didn't know there was more to it! What is happening? Okay. I can't move. Okay. Okay, that helped. That actually helped. Tell me that was it? Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought there was more. I thought there was actually more to it. Well. Oh. Oh, there is more. <laughs> I see. not so how do I, how do 
are you back? Wait, and how do I get back up there? Just this. It's just. No, it's not. Wait, then. How do I get that? Oh, I'm stupid. Just put a portal there, you dumb man. Oh my god. The freaking great. Oh, I. I could have used that. Okay. This is me in a nutshell, just overthinking everything. Oh, it happens way too much. will get us back on track, but it will take a while for us to get back to the surface. A diversion. Interesting. Oh my god. The mortality rate of that chamber is so high. You can't even get past the first turret. Blind turn. Does that help? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Great, that worked. Unfortunately, I don't think I can help any longer. Even though I've got access to all the subroutines, only certain functions are still working. <laughs> All right, um, what's over there? Yeah, I can see that this can't. But I couldn't before, like it. Why this is here? Is out there. Okay, I see. Box. You. This. That. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did this happen? 
What? Can I pick it up? Uh. Oh. Well, that's an interesting glitch. Ah. Huh. And there's no way to respawn it. Way I can get it. I don't think I can get it. I, I think I'm soft locked. I think I'm screwed. I, th I think I'm. I think I just locked the puzzle. Here, because I need that in order to open the door. How the hell did I just. How the hell did I break this puzzle? Excuse me, how? <laughs> hey devs, I broke your game! <laughs> again. I should be good. Wait, what? I'm gonna put it here just in case. What I could do is... Where is... Do I just... Do I just do this? Oh yeah, it's, it's that simple. Okay. Alright, what about you two? Now, just go that way. Hey. Why don't these have collision anymore? <laughs> hey. You know, 
The turrets do have feelings. There's no need to be so cruel to them. I mean, they're cruel to me. Although, I mean, they're just doing what they're programmed, to be honest. <laughs> Only two more chambers to reach the spire. I think I told you that I need a human to activate it. From what I heard, it's a pretty complicated cognitive test which only a smart human mind can pass. I don't know what that test is, but make sure to save some of that brain power for later. there now. I'm trying to see what other... What does this do? Does this just respawn the ball? Okay. I'm thinking that's just respawn the ball. What I need to do... What we got is good. Now, uh, hey, now what? Okay, so now what? Because like, how do I? I can see what's up there. I need the ball. I actually need it. So if I need the ball... as simple as just going here. Is there like a... I'm trying to think about this for a moment. I'm just like... What? They didn't... Wait, huh? Whatever. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, did that not break that? Damn. It's not programmed to break that. Oh, 
because this isn't this isn't gonna take me that far, is it? Like the whole reason I'm trying to like so impressed with this ball. What the hell is happening? Just go in the thank you. <laughs> I just want to see real quick. Yeah, I need a... No way to create actual Yeah, I'm not making that. There's a switch there. Uh. My only problem is how am I going to Give me. Did I respawn the ball? Yeah, like, how do I... I need to get rid of the ball. Unless I can... Wait, what? Oh. Alright, um... God damn it. No, what I was trying to do was... Like, maybe I can... Can't really go forward, which is the only thing that's, that's awkward. Oh my god. <sighs> Dude, that I don't know why I can't go fucking forward. Time. Like Like I can't go backwards right now. I can go left, right, and forward. No, I can't go forward. Like, what the? Why? I don't understand that. Am 
Why I'm just sometimes unable to go forward. Like, now I can. Well, that doesn't even matter anyway, because I would have to be... Uh... Oh, wait, no, no. Ah. What the... F I don't know. Am I missing something? bring the ball back like over here like after this like how would I even bring the ball back because I have to bring the ball over there Hold on, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm, I'm definitely missing something. There's, like. God, it's like the most unstable fucking god. I hate this shit. <laughs> yeah, I can bounce this ball. There's no way it's this simple, right? Yeah, I'm just dead. that I'm missing. Is there anything on this wall? Huh. I don't even know if it would be helpful if it was. missing. It's for all I know, this is like literally the only way you can do it, but... And then you gotta find some way to get rid of the ball, which... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute.
Yeah. That's it. There we go. What just happened? Oh, there's a... Uh... just did to make the ball wet. to our goal. Don't die now. Ooh. We're finally on our way there. Ooh. What's next? Let's see what's over here. Oh god. Ooh. Thank you for that. I wasn't expecting that to be wet. <laughs> I thought the cube would just be dry. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Okay, this is gonna be interesting then. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I got it, I got it. I think I did too early. Yeah, I did. Perfect. Alright, and then... refreshing to see chambers where the goal is to clean up the gels. Most of them encourage you to smear it all over the place. Especially anywhere I can't reach. That was pretty neat, though. I wasn't expecting it to spawn as a blue... Like, as a blue, um, crate. That was interesting. Even though it was very short, that was quite interesting. Hello? Code 14? We did it. We actually did it. Well, not yet, but we will have done it soon. What are you waiting for? Let's go. There's no way it's this easy. Also, that's a fair, I, honestly, this is really nice. This looks really nice, actually. I mean, this isn't even RTX. And it's just like, it still looks really good. And honestly, I mean, RTX is kind of just, I don't know. I mean, when I played Portal RTX, I was like, it's, it's kind of neat, but it's just like, I don't know. It's not really that necessary. I don't know. I don't find it necessary. I 
Like, ray tracing can be cool, but it's just like... I don't know. Not really anything that necessary. I don't know, it was like alright, and I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know if I could even run Portal RTX anymore. <laughs> Like on my 2080, I don't even know if I can. It's... Whatever I tried, it like barely freaking worked. Ah, of course. And so close to the finish line, another chamber. Well, I don't see any way to help you here. You'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. Okay, I need to touch that. that. Uh. Way to get rid of that. Gotta open that door. That's where I just came from. That's where I just came from. Where am I trying to go? back over here real quick. Yeah, so there's that. So literally just that and that's it? Alright then. So I need to find some way in there. Doesn't matter because I can't get in. Is there like any kind of oh, uh, no, this doesn't matter. I need to get up there. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, mm, I don't know how to do it, man. I, I don't know. right there it's like a freaking main breaker switch it's literally like a power breaker that's actually quite interesting though that's actually very neat in all honesty Stupid. Yes, I'm stupid. I can just do that. <laughs> oh, this was a lot. Oh, this works. There we go. <laughs> Touch the glass. 
What's here? Oh. Okay, so what I need... Right. Okay, let me... Grab this. Oh, the door's still open! Oh, shit! Pretty cool, actually. The door's still open. Because there's no way to turn it off. So, no. To go back. That's raised. Perfect. That's really cool. I honestly really like that. I hope there's more. I really hope there's more like that. Fire examination. Oh. Halfway there. Well, at least it's a good view. Life gets uh, a bit claustrophobic down in the facility. God, that looks so nice. I, I, I just love this. this. It really does look nice. Alright, what do we got now? There's no way this is the end, right? There's no way. Like, there's going to be more. Go here. Nothing. Why do you have to go this way? This isn't the last chamber. I'm going to assume you're doing this just to mess with me. Wait, me? Why is it me? What did I do? You're not wanting control of this. Okay, where's the button? I'm trying to look for the button. Okay, the button's over there. That's the way to the end. There's a main breaker switch. Okay. That's important. So should I... Yeah, I think what I should do... Set it over there. And activate the breaker switch. Uh, put myself back there. Yeah, yeah. just like this. This is perfect. This is perfect. And then this. Oh. Right, the power's off. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, well... <laughs> Never mind for that play. Okay. So... I'm trying to see real quick. I'm trying to see what I can do. But why would I want the power off? Is there a reason why I would want it off? Like, what would turning the power off exactly do for me? Because, I mean... It would get rid of that. Wait a minute. Could I possibly... Wait a minute. If I have a... There's no portable surface here. I mean, there wouldn't be a way back. In case I drop down. So I would need to have that on. Because part of me was thinking that I could, like, turn that off hit this button and then somehow get back while the timer's on but no I don't think that makes any sense so I need to find it has something to do with that like it has something like I, it mostly has something to do with that portal I think so I just need to figure out How do you get from there... there? Oh wait, it's just that simple. Wait, I, I need to... You. I did something stupid. Oh well. This. <laughs> if this isn't the last chamber, I'm going to assume you're doing this just to mess with me. All right, give me this. All right. Didn't matter anyway. Well, how am I gonna get there? Yeah, so even that doesn't work. So, like, how am I gonna get there? Interesting. Um, unless I can, wait, 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 wait a minute, can I, can I technically, can I quote unquote cheat, can I, <laughs> can it actually get high enough, I wonder. It might actually get high enough. I'm just curious. I'm not actually gonna do this. I'm not actually gonna do this. It actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna do this. Li I'm not gonna do it like this. I just wanna see. I just want to see out of curiosity. Because I'm 
I don't know, because I'm dumb. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> so I can technically just do this. Put the switch right here. And then just be done. I, I could technically just do that. <laughs> but that's cheating. <laughs> But listen, that's cheating. So how would you do this otherwise? I wonder. Unless... Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, no, because, no, because that doesn't, what? Because there's no way to hit the, no, there's no way to hit the switch and then the button. Like, I keep thinking that, but, which would be the only reason why you would need the breaker. But there's no way to do that. Is there? Or... No, because... Wait. Hold on, just give me... Yeah, I hit the switch to that for the... There. Wait a minute. Hold on. If this isn't the last chamber, I'm going to assume you're doing this just to mess with me. I got it. So... Give me this. Okay. Now. Yeah, because you can- yeah, you can drop there. Perfect. this back on the faceplate. Now, portal there. There. Flip the switch on. And now it's back up there. Perfectly on the switch too. gonna do a legit <laughs> I could have just left it like that in the cheesy way but no I'm not gonna do that because that's cheating <laughs> all right what the hell is it oh yeah this is the same puzzle I just did See that again? <laughs> Ooh. That totally doesn't look like a trap. <laughs> there she blows. This fire reaches from the bottommost parts of the facility all the way up to the surface. You certainly don't want to fall down that shaft. After you. Okay. What? What the? Okay. This is very intriguing. What exactly?
exactly are we doing up here? <laughs> like, what are we looking for? have to do that? Oh. I guess so, yeah. Because I'm guessing that door leads to nothing. Or is that... Wait, was that where I came from? No, it was that, right? I don't know. What a machine. Let's look for the input. Look for things that seem complicated. What the hell is this? What? Also, look for something complicated. This entire thing is complicated. Oh wait, could I have just walked up this? I could have just walked through this door. Okay. <laughs> the hell is that? Wait, that's it? You just need to press a button? Well, that's kind of underwhelming. Whatever, it's powering up. You'll soon see what this beast is capable of. We need to run a series of checks. Um, there should be a cube arriving near you any second. Companion cube? Please put that into the specimen chamber on the left. Okay. Okay, starting first test on an inanimate object. If all goes well, the cube will be teleported to the other chamber. Oh, please work. Starting first jump, now! It worked. It actually worked. That's very good. See, while low-tech devices like your handheld portal device need to place physical portals to achieve teleportation, this little guy can instantly swap any two volumes of space in the whole universe. We design entire test chambers around not being able to shoot portals through walls, while this thing just bypasses our three-dimensional plane. Anyway, let's recycle that cube. Gotta clean up after ourselves. What? No! I don't want to do that. Oh. Wait, but it's not open. Is it? Oh, it just opens on its own. Oh. Does it look different or is it just me? It looks different from a normal companion cube. Of course it has to be the companion cube that you do this to. A freaking course, man. I hate to break it to you, but there is one more test we need to pass. First comes inanimate, then animate. Please enter the specimen chamber. Oh, God. This is not going to be good. All right. Sorry, but to start with the test, you'll have to temporarily resign as janitor. No worries. I'll rehire you after the test, but 
I need a registered test subject to continue. Good. We're almost there. Thank you for doing this for us. Well, time to put an end to the collapse. Let's rebuild the central core. Oh, right. You probably know her as GLaDOS. It's about time we bring her back, don't you think? That monster spread her parts all over the facility. Even the parking lot. No way in hell I could get her back together without this machine. Time to start the test. See you on the other side. This isn't gonna be good. That's not good. What are you doing in there? Get out of there! I can't turn it off! What? You're back. I thought I lost you. I can fix this. That was all the aperture. Just give me a second. It actually worked. I almost fixed it. I'll try to get you out of this spaceship loop. Gotta be quick about this before you leave again. Get ready. I didn't have a chance. <laughs> The cutting room floor. What? Does our portal device not work anymore? Oh, we have no portal device. We're just... Where are we? Is this underground? Oh my god, this is the underground. We're in the deepest parts of Aperture. Like, I think even lower than the Cave Johnson area. What? I think we're even lower than that. I guess they 1980. This is all quite interesting. I'm assuming we're not gonna have Cave Johnson talking. Water and beans. Why are these here? Oh, this is a bit... A bit creepy without the, uh... Without the core talking anymore. Alright, back down here. Oh god. I... You see what I was trying to do? <laughs> you see what I was trying to do? I was trying to get up there, but I don't think you can. Oh, no, you technically can. Oh, you actually can. Yet you can get up there. It doesn't do anything because it's just a door that you can't open. But you technically can do it. Back down. Why does it sound like a monster is in here? Why does it sound like I'm not alone? This isn't a horror game, is it?
plenty to seek air pockets. Us. What? Okay, so there's that. What's over here, though? Giving me a feeling that I'm actually going to get a portal gun back. Maybe a newer one. Employee waiting area. Oh, I'm not an employee anymore. Yeah, that's it. There it is. The cake. Aperture science cafeteria on the second, 22nd floor. Grab the cakes. We are awarding a free cake to any and all who are willing to volunteer for testing. Yeah, so that's the cake. so I can't get in there. There has to be a point where I'm supposed to get a portal gun at some point. I have to get my portal gun back. There's... There has to be a way I can get my portal gun back. There's just too many portable surfaces. I don't. It just feels so weird because there's just there's all this. One core comes back. I really hope that one dude comes back. Oh my god. Oh, we can pick these up. Pick the red floor signs. I didn't even know that. I think a bullet like one. to surface. Man, I wish. I freaking wish. <laughs> uh, what is happening there? So I have to go in here. Anything special in here? I'm still wondering what the freaking CD was about. Like, why did I put a CD inside of a thing? Was that was there a reason for that? And all the in the secret in that one secret room? Like I I, I have no idea what even the point was any of that. Makes me wonder if there was actually a reason for it. What does this do? Welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> the fact you're standing here tells me that you want to help us revolutionize the world. Just like we have for over 30 years. Wrong draft? This fun? Lunch at 10. Wait, where are you going? Are we not finishing my part? Sorry, what? I'm sorry, who? 
the hell is this? <laughs> is this supposed to be like a version of of Carolyn? Or what? Is this supposed to be Carolyn? I just wanted to look down here. It's like, why is this an area you can go? It kind of makes me wonder if this is actually supposed to be Carolyn. Like, after she takes over the facility. But does that mean... But does that mean she's actually... Like, put into the computer now? Or what? Her consult line in the upper Michigan, huh? Michigan. Uh, recent change, science. <gasps> Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Give me. <laughs> Wait, there's a red portal. Uh, moon rock base. Yeah, right here. Following a new, uh, the passing of founder and CEO Cape Johnson. Yeah, so this is after Cape Johnson died. Like this area. So this is actually after. So this is. So this is actually Carolyn. So this actually is Carolyn. Holy shit. Like, that's pretty cool, honestly. So do I just go back up there? Can I? I don't think I can go back up there. Where do I go? I knew I was getting a portal gun again. Oh. You can just go there. Am I just leaving? Am I just dipping? Came back. Okay, I'm back. Um, what did you do up there?
can't go that way. Oh wait, I could just... I could just do that! Oh, I can't. Here now? Wait. Oh, uh. How did I get here? How the. Wait. Oh! Wow, I got freaking. I got so lost. Twice. Okay, I see. What? Testing track lambda. Oh. Thank you for volunteering. useful. So that actually was Carolyn then. Interesting. So that's Carolyn after he dies of moon rock poisoning. Huh. Actually, quite interesting. But is she now? Oh, we're rolling. Okay. All right. We're trying something different with this test. If you've worked in device development, then you'll know what this is already. But if you don't, that will actually give us better data. So, just have fun with it. It shouldn't be able to hurt you. I love how it's on a whiteboard. Test one. <laughs> Interesting. We'll say those noises are kind of concerning. Oh, that's fire. Jesus.
to remind everybody who didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity events. All pneumatic diversity events in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. If your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. That's pretty cool, actually. So, I can't get sucked up. However, they can. Also, I didn't know this was actually the correct way to the testing track. I just guessed. I wasn't even trying to find the correct way. It is neat using this to get rid of the turrets. Oh, that's blood. I just... Oh, that's blood. Oh, shit. Hello? This... This can't suck up from here, right? Uh, like this. Well done! As a heads up, the following test chambers may not include pre recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck! Freaking what? human contact. Over here then. Oh, is that the end? Oh, that's the elevator. That's how I leave. What's over here then? Just know where I can go? Oh, I can't go there. That's why there's an X. <laughs> yeah, that would that would most certainly um you know cause some issues. It's an interesting portal gun design, I'll be honest. How it's all red and stuff. And also, it has a red portal instead of... It has red and light blue instead of, like, you know, the blue and orange. Honestly, interesting. Like, even something as small as that is honestly interesting. straight up hurts you in portal? I don't know. I don't think there has. I thought there's more of those frisbees. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. Oh, this is actually where I was supposed to go. Oh. This is, um, certainly quite interesting. Is he gonna 
a box of turrets. Alright, so what's here? Where, where am I going? Testing. 1981. Personality Spirit Maintenance Lab? I wanna go in there! Oh, I can. stories. I wanted to explore some more. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is personality spears. Interesting. Huh. So this is just a personality spirit that just doesn't work. Are there some that do? Grab the chair. Management rail access. Done? Oh, hey, what's happening here? Where am I? What the? Uh, who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? No, this can't be possible, can it? Okay, let's do this properly. Sorry for my freak out. I will explain what just happened, but let's get out of here first. Can you pick me up? Who are you? Are you gonna say anything? Thanks. There's a hub not far from here. Let's go there. And... By the way, where is everybody? Is the office closed? And what is a test subject doing here anyway? Can, we, can you explain to me who you are, please? That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through, hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. It worked! That's crazy! I still don't like this plan, but here we go. They're just shadows. Only shadows. Oh, it's an upside down chair. I was like, what the? I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, thank God the freaking sound is gone. Like the sound for that. I didn't think doing that would actually remove it. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. Interesting though. Hmm. 
Listen, I'm sorry for. Oh. Ah! My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Window, please. Okay. All right. Trying not to panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Are you, uh, are you self conscious or anything? Got it. Oh, you just let me do it in front of you. Nice. Or he will just, you'll just do it in front of me. Okay. <laughs> None of this used to be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's try and find a management rail. Then I can access the whole network. Who is this? I, again, I, I, I. Can we have a name or something? I don't know who I'm talking to. Who's over here? Elevator. Sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? What's Actually, this? Actually, you don't want to know. Oh. Okay. I I, I guess I don't want to know there. Okay. I don't want to know what's up. What's over there? Okay. <laughs> Can I ask you something real quick? What portal device model is that? Doesn't look like any of the ones I've seen before. No. Looks cool though. Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. What portal device were you around? Oh, a rail! We found one! Whoa! Feels weird! This will take some getting used to. Thank you, test subject. Alright. Now what? What do you want, 86? I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. Oh, you're fine. I'm trying to figure out what happened too. I'm just trying to figure out how to get back. How am I gonna get back? Wait, what's over here? Is there a way over there? Oh, there's a portal there. I don't know if it was just me, but it almost sounded like that one lady. Like, it almost sounded like the person that was announcing the whole thing. But... So, again, I'm sorry for my erratic introduction. I'm Amelia Conley, and I work in Aperture's research group for artificial intelligence. Well, I did. Until now. See, my main contributions were in the field of brain scanning, and it seems like one of my old scans just got loaded into this robot. I knew the risks of this happening. We enforced strict backup removal routines so we wouldn't accidentally clone our minds. But here we are. Is that a sucky or is that a blowy? It's a sucky, okay. Wait, I probably should have. Probably should have put it there. Hold on. <laughs> Give me the thing. 
give me the cube back. Jump. Don't need that. Really struggling to hold back the panic now? I read the records of what happened while I was out. Everyone is dead. All of them. And it's my fault. See, I worked on her. I created the genetic life form and disc operating system just like Kate wanted. Well, my human self did. I have no memory of this, but the records are clear. Carolyn never consented to be scanned in, but somehow they must have found a way around that. I need to process this for a bit and figure out what to do now. See you in a bit. Ah, uh, I see. So she is from around the time... So this Amelia... Amelia Conley was the one who actually was deeply involved with the whole GLaDOS thing. Interesting. That is actually quite interesting. This is really interesting lore. I actually kind of like it. But I'm assuming the lady who was announcing or welcoming people was probably, I mean, I'm sure that was probably an older Carolyn, but like, since she was leading the facility, but It's not been long. Just wanted to be polite. Just remembered that I never asked what you're doing here. Let's just try to get out of here. This isn't a good place to be around anymore. I mean, at least we both have the same opinion. Uh, however it is, we do get out of here. Get up here real quick. Fifty shades of lemonade. <laughs> what? <laughs> the book nobody's talking about. I am. What is it? I am fifty one. Cave Johnson, and I am the CEO of Aperture Science. I was not really familiar with. What, lemons of lemonade until the lemon was introduced. What? To me. 
today or together with a team including the best scientists of our generation i researched 50 shades of lemonade from very sweet to shady or from very sweet to shady to the not so sweet and shady what the hell fucking <laughs> what Shades of Lemonade. Oh my god, that shit's funny. Okay, that's an important switch. Uh... Okay, I think I'm done. Alright, let's shut it down. Start again. Let me light this up for you. Oh. Alright. Oh, that's a... Grab a portal. Alright. Where am I trying to go now? Where am I trying to go? idea where I'm trying to go. Uh, maybe I'm trying to go back here. Maybe I gotta go back here and... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, wait. I think I gotta return on... I gotta reactivate the power, I think. Um, hold on. Was there a portal up here? There was. That's why there's a portal. What was... I swear, these earthquakes aren't normal here. What is that? Okay. You. Haven't been here in a while. Wow, this hasn't changed a bit. No? What is it? Ah, uh, yes. The boring presentation room. For some reason, the presentation rooms were assigned special roles. This is the boring one, where only really uninteresting topics get presented. I worked next to the presentation room of danger. Well, that's its nickname. What they pitched there is shocking at first, but it didn't take me long to get numb to it. Are you used to those being there? To me, that seems pretty disturbing. I wonder if there's anything over here. Huh. Alright, go up. Hmm. Interesting. You reckon I could find a humanoid android body somewhere around here? Forgot what it feels like to have hands. What the? Why are you in the coat position? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Interesting. Wait, rogue mannequins? Why do I have to worry about those? <laughs> uh. What? 
Bitte. No hands, only handles. Wait, what's over here? Oh, just nothing. Why is, is it? Um, oh. this is also nothing. Okay. What does this say? I can't really read the rest of it. about the android body. I wonder if they finished developing those. I don't know. What is that noise? I don't want out of there. That's said apple science. I'm like, what? Very interesting though. This is like all before the whole. Again, like before Portal 2. Like, this is actually quite interesting. just a brand new portal game which is like really cool at least it feels like it Do we get to open this Do we get to open one of these oh no I believe this might be an old dangerous teleportation experiment here we've got ourselves the <clears throat> Aperture Science Non-Local Matter Displacement Device. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Our team affectionately dubbed it the Spire. Adds a bit of pizzazz to it, right? It was developed as a successor to the Borealis experiments from the 70s, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Well, I've still not seen it with my eyes, unless digital cameras count. Sort of like, what does this do? Oh, intriguing! I get the wall jump. Whee! Oh my god, that's so cool. So we're in the spire right now. Oh. Is that there? Oh, that's why. Uh. Okay then. All right. 
Okay, what color? Blue. Alright. We better get going. Let's find a way up to the surface. That's where we'll find the control room. Alright. <laughs> and even they have game design 101. Jeez. This is crazy. A 2016 one. A Tawan. Tawan? Lead the. Wait. On Tawan, level designer and lead developer of the Portal Revolution mod. In this book, I want to introduce you into the world of level and game design. You will learn how to build stupid levels nobody wants to play. After reading this book, you will also be able to design your own shitty little games. <laughs> what the hell? Best seller in Tawan's family. I hope I'm saying that name right. I really hope I'm saying it right. Is that a knee replacement? What the? Alpha male? I like work, I just hate my bots. Does it say who farted? I hate Mondays. Does it say smile? I need a hug. Coffee nut. <laughs> 204 man? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that last one means. Dude. There's like a bit of humor like literally everywhere. This is really cool. Like all the detail that you don't really see just by breezing past it. Like I like exploring for that reason. Does that say not paper? Absolutely nothing. Not paper. Zero sheets. Three pounds. Tear resistant. Heat resistant. Water resistant. Fire resistant. Acid resistant. Bullet resistant. Touch resistant. Paper resistant. And more. <laughs> the aperture logo, aperture, and paper are registered trademarks of. Wait, in paper. Uh, registered trademarks at Aperture Laboratories. Warning, contents may admit toxic fumes upon opening the package and or during printing. Oh my god. Uh, oh. There we go. Going lonely. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fun. This will sound stupid, so just bear with me. Garbage disposal tubes generate much more force than the ones in test chambers. Should be able to carry you. If you jump into this tube, I will route you through to the upper layers of the facility. Okay. Oh, I need to. Is there a portal? There's one there. Is there one over here? Aha! Okay. Alright. Maybe hold your breath. Whee! Wait, what was that chamber? Number four? This is as far as I can get you. Damn it, that's barely halfway. Well, looks like we have to go the long way. Sorry. I'm going to research this spire thing while you solve the chambers. Researching the spire, interesting. Alright. 
right. Gel bending? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot this thing has a, a push force. What? Oh! Oh, that's really cool, actually. No, watch, watch, watch. So, put this here. And then... Oh, that's really cool! Now we're using the I blowy to solve. internal documents for the spire, which is 20 megabytes large. How did they figure out how to fit all that on a single drive? Maybe because the drive is like fucking gigabytes large. <laughs> I read up on the spire. One thing that puzzles me, how did it get activated? It's been dormant for decades and suddenly it just kicks itself into action? Whoever it was must have really upset it. Uh-oh. I think we fucked up. Gel flow. What is, what is this? What the? Wait, what? Oh! Okay, hold on. I didn't even know there was anything there! Where's the ball? Wait, does that mean that button literally does nothing? Next test. Wait, why would it? Why would there be a thing saying? I don't know. Oh wait, it's just. Oh. Wait, what? Do that. I'm sorry, I'm like freaking lost. I'm like, now I got more interesting. So that there. Honestly, quite interesting. I'm actually like I honestly don't want to stop. Okay, so now what? Uh, I don't have. I can't make that with just. Wait, can I? was again. Did okay. you see? The spire is stealing resources from down here as part of its power up sequence. I don't think it presents an immediate threat to us, but something just feels off. Aperture likes to poke around at anything, no matter how dangerous it is. 
The fact they discontinued this experiment doesn't really fill me with emotions I would categorize as positive. Yeah, and also the reason why I paused there was so that that flicker would stop happening. I I don't know if that's like a known thing or what, but like, I've never seen that. I have to be honest, I've never seen it before. And I was thinking, hey, maybe that would work. Did and you know that Aperture simulates breathing and blinking in its sentient robots? I still have a sort of subconscious reflex to breathe and blink my eye, even though that's not technically necessary. Turns out the human mind doesn't cope well when those functions are removed. Be glad you didn't volunteer for our early mind mapping tests. Those were not good times to be a test subject. Yeah, it's this pretty much like whenever you get... It's something with that orange gel, like whenever you get that orange gel on you, it like... It's either stays on or flickers, which is weird. So, to recap, GLaDOS killed all humans and then got killed herself by a test subject. And what happened since? Why is there nobody here? Did nobody come to investigate this place? Forget about the government. Why does Black Mesa have no interest in what happened here? That's actually a good point, honestly. Well, honestly, I mean, never mind. We all know what happened with Black Mesa. <laughs> At least I think so. I don't know. Maybe we don't. I mean, I think it's a good idea to guess what happened with Black Mesa. I mean, what is up here? Half Life 3 confirms. What's this? Oh, it's. Sucky sucky. Alright, so now I need to um you? No. I'm just gonna put as much white juice as I can. You know what I mean? This, this stuff. <laughs> Wait, I can just go over. What happens if I go over there? <laughs> I think I might just die. I, <laughs> I think I'd just be dead if I go do that. Yeah, I'd just be dead. Never mind. <laughs> Imagine if I did that. Oh. Uh... What's the point of? That is, though. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, wait. Let me go back up there real quick. Oh. Yeah. So now, if I like this. Hey! Now I can go over there. So now... I don't have a cube or anything. Oh, because I don't need a cube. Oh. I need this, and then... I'm trying to think for a moment. And now this. I think that's correct. Looks correct. Now... that work? Yes. Nice. Wait. 
the boring way. Wait, there's a freaking, wait, huh? What do you mean the boring way? Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, there's a, wait, is there a different method? Wait, 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 wait. Is there a, wait, there's a different method? Wait a minute. Wait, what? I'm so lost why it said the boring way. Hold up. Read the achievement just in case. Uh. It just says solve it the boring way. This one of five. Does that mean there's five different ways of solving the puzzle? I want to look at the freaking achievement list. I don't want to look at the achievement list because I don't want to like. Let me. Is there like a way to? Okay, I can't go on that. I was wondering if I could like go on that and then jump up there. <laughs> See if there's like a cheesy way. Okay, uh oh, I got an idea. There actually are multiple ways of solving this, I think. Just I do this. Shoot that. I never used a button. I use it to You talking about this button? I used it to I use it to put the white goop. Unless there's a button I forgot about. Is there a button I didn't see? Or is that the button? Oh, that's the only button I see. Okay. I think I have an idea. I think... What I'm thinking of is... Go through the portal. Jump off this. Bounce on that, bounce on that, bounce on that, and go back. Yep, that's a, that's a solution, but it doesn't... Hold on. I'm gonna... Uh, I think it's this one. Okay. I'm gonna do it like this, hold on. This isn't gonna take too long. This isn't gonna take long. I want to see if there's actually, like, another thing. But... Okay. Uh... Oh, shit. I was supposed to... I was supposed to wait it first, and then... This has to be, like, a different one. Like, this has to be another achievement. Like, unless there isn't, and it literally is just the boring way and that's it. But there's no way. Like, it has to be, like, more. Right? Yeah, see? The fun way. Yeah, so there are two different ways. Hey, at least I tried it. Well done, test subject. No. You off. have just completed My another test. Underway. Congratulations on contributing once again to the future of yes. science. Wow. Feel welcome Turn to pause off. at Turn any off. moment. There's cake and beverages Turn in the break room. Oh, okay. Oh, so it actually... So they actually are the same person, then. Huh. 
So it wasn't Carolyn. It was her. Looks like I turned myself off. Yeah, I dabbled in voice acting when I first joined the company as an intern. That was so long ago. Please, just forget everything you heard down there. Wait, what's this then? Okay, there's nothing. I've been like really looking. I've been really trying to look and see if there's anything because like I don't know if this is supposed to be a test chamber. If it is, our chamber budget has officially hit a new low. There's been a couple secrets I found and just what they mean. All right, let's cover everything in the white stuff. Like you do? <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only one, right? I mean, I'm, just, I'm sure everyone does it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay. Where is... Oh, I hit the wrong portal. Uh... Let me see real quick. Yeah, but the way it's angled, I can't really... Unless I can shoot it like that. Ah! Shoot it like that. Okay, that works. Why is that, I think? What's the reason why that's there? Uh... Got the white stuff everywhere. Um, or at least everywhere that looks important. trying to go? Am I trying to go here? Let me go back down real quick and just see. Okay, I'm not trying to go there. Where am I going? There should be a doorway or something somewhere. There should be somewhere that literally tells me, like, this is where I'm going. I think while I'm doing this, I guess I'm gonna just cover more stuff with white stuff. Like, more of the white goo. It's up there. 
It's possible. It could be. It could be up there. It could very much be up there, actually. How do I get up there? There's a portable surface right here? Okay. Yeah, so I am trying to get up there. Okay. Uh... Let me see what happens if I do this. problem would be getting over there. Yeah, which I'm definitely not doing. I was trying to get over there. So, we get higher. Maybe I did- maybe I do need more white stuff. That- that didn't make it? Like, the only thing I can think of is, like, probably more white stuff. But I need to figure out where to put that white stuff. Probably over here? Dude, like, the big problem is that I don't go high enough. I need to figure out that the... Hold on, let me... See if there's any. Yeah, that's just a two. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me try doing this real quick. Yeah, this should work. Okay. Because now that the white stuff is up there, now I have freedom to do whatever I want. Pretty much. To like a much larger degree. 
keep forgetting about them. Keep forgetting about that stupid thing. There. Okay. So now... This should be a lot easier. Yeah, this should be a lot easier. Because we should have a lot more freedom to cover everything in white stuff. Not every single inch, but like... Enough of it. I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally go in the portal. <laughs> Let's go over here. What does this do? Huh. this about oh uh, oh there's a cube there's a cube all right that should be enough Now I have a cube, so now I can permanently. Look at this white dude. Probably nothing. <laughs> so. Now that I do that. I kind of want to go back up there, actually. Yeah, because there's this now. What does that take me? What? This takes me here. here now. I honestly wasn't expecting this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh... Let me see what that does. took me further than I expected. What? Why did I even go so far? I don't think there was the same amount of distance. What the? I don't know why I went that far. 
I think I dropped. I think I jumped. I thought I jumped. Maybe I did. Maybe I did just drop. Okay. Uh. What? Okay, so I have this. Oh, which I can. Right, I can use this now. But even more white stuff. I great job, genius. Way to go, champ. That's all it goes. Alright. Alright. Wait, was I not supposed to go there the entire- Wait, what's this then? Actually here. <laughs> Turns out that wasn't a chamber. At least it gave me time to disable the speakers in the next chambers. We don't need to listen to that again. That was that was certainly uh an experience. <laughs> What do we got now? That looks more like a chamber. You know what? I actually remember this one. It's collected some dust, but looks pretty much unchanged. Most of our tests get updated when we find a critical design flaw. Seems like this one survived the test of time. Number seven out of eight? Is it actually seven of eight? <laughs> or is it seven out of eight and then another 14,000? Alright, give me this. <laughs> this do? Okay, it gets rid of that. So what's this now? The excursion funnel, there's that. The excursion funnel is what I need in order to leave. Why isn't it working? Fizzler. What? Hold on. What's up here? Oh, 
That's the Fizzler. Or that's the, um... That's the Fizzler. The Excursion Funnel. That's the Funnel. What does this do? Okay, that does... Uh... Okay, so this gets rid of those Fizzlers. for the fizzler right now. Okay. So this gets just so this is that one. Which I need portal there. How do I get back to... Wait a minute. How do I get back to this, though? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. sends it over there. Okay, so that reverses the flow. Okay. That, like, actually makes it a regular... I was trying to do. Uh, 
Okay, where's that freaking cube at? I knew what I was doing. Ooh, that was close. Like, I knew what I was doing. Uh... Oh, wait, I need the... got me stuck on that instead, which is weird. I didn't want it to be on that. I want to be on that external, but... Right. Come on. That's literally what I wanted to do. <laughs> Good news. I found us an elevator out of here. Just one more chamber. Alrighty then. Let's go. Alright, this last chamber. Let's see it. Last chamber. The surface elevator is right after. Just don't look down. Or fall down either. That shaft goes all the way to the bottom. Oh. What am I doing with... Okay, I... I know. What the hell is this? Oh, it's... Oh, I actually need this. Okay. Um... Wait. Let me... Get a look and see what I'm trying to do. Okay, yeah, there. Okay, I see. Don't worry. Don't, don't do that again. For my sake, please. You're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go in here. Wee. That was fun. Now what? Where'd that go? Oh. Uh, where did that cube go? A little bit higher. There we go. What does this do? Light bridge? Why is there a light bridge? Do not touch glass. Oh shit. Touch up. Oh, damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> Wait, how do I get 
back? Oh, that's how. to get back in that room. However, honestly, the main problem same thing. Yeah, this is... Both of these do one cube, so I only have one cube. Like, I only get one. Activate the switch. No. Oh. I need to get up there. But how do I get back there? It's like I did it right here. Like, this is correct. But I need to find some way to get that so I can get back up there. I need to find some way to get to get a portal there. But 
but I need the light bridge in order to get to one of the other portal surfaces. That simple, isn't it? Yeah, it's that simple. Same thing with this. Yep, it was really that simple. Hey, hey, I need you to carry me up the elevator. We've done this before, so be ready to catch me. We're becoming quite good at this. Elevator is right through here. Cozy. I'm sure we can stuff ourselves in there. Never thought I'd miss the car park. We're almost out of here. Oh boy. Um, that's not the surface. Is the elevator stuck? The collision. Oh, I found you! Who's that now? I was quite worried where that teleporter could have left you. At least you didn't suffocate on a wall, so that's good. Tell you what, why don't you come back and join me here in the spire? Charging up the teleporter as we speak to continue our mission, you so rudely interrupted. What mission? Oh, who's your little sidekick? Cute. You can join us if you want. Join you? With what? We just want to repair the facility. I will pick up the remains of our former central core, reassemble her, and bring her back to life. Wait, who are you talking about? Are you talking about GLaDOS? You want to bring back GLaDOS? That's what the humans call her, yes. Whoa. And that is why you gotta switch your capacitors. So that's the sort of guys you normally hang out with. Did you work with him? I mean... Is it really work if I was kind of forced? Oh, I shouldn't have looked. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty big drop. It's solid ground at last. Put me on the rail over there. I'll open the door for you. What? Oh yeah, that rail. Right, so you're the one who activated the spire. I... I should have seen that coming. I mean... I would have... I don't know. Is he really trying to bring back GLaDOS? He's right about one thing, though. The facility is already barely holding together, and that won't change unless we put someone in charge of the central core. But why her? Why doesn't he just take the crown for himself? Portal re- wait. Portable redirection cubes?
Oh wait, just bring this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Huh. I don't blame you for helping him. You didn't see what she did. I mean, neither did I. But the records are disturbing. Took her less than a second to seal the fate of every human in the enrichment center. I'll never understand why we gave her that neurotoxin. Yeah, I don't know either. Um. Oh. Right. I forgot these aren't normal. <laughs> What does that do? What the? What does this do now? Does that create another one over there? Oh my god, it does. <laughs> oh, and it was actually... Right. Uh-huh. I just... I just wish I could go back. You know, and amend both mistakes. What, the mistake of her existing? You mean, or...? Okay, I think I understand it. Uh... Do I? What are these doing? These are opening the door. Trying to see if there was anything up here, and there's not. Okay. Mm. Can't I technically do all of them? Maybe. Perfect.
Four out of seven. Four out of seven already? Shit. Yeah, what does that do? Let me see what that does. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. So... That's not the direction I wanted. I wanted it to be we might more not like see each other in the next test chamber. Whatever he says or has already said to you, we can not allow GLaDOS to return. Oh, that's Is your little friend not gonna join us? Oh well, this only regards you anyways. I just want to say thank you for bringing us this far. R really, I mean it. No one else could have pressed that button as well as you. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay, so... What does that do? blue up there. And just do this. There. Before you say anything, I am going to accept your implicit apology for breaking the teleporter. Your portal device really caused a lot of havoc there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna add the repairs to your list. I already got that covered. Your new little blue friend. Who is she? The voice seems familiar. All right, you can't respond. Maybe you can introduce me to her when you come back. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Does that go this way now? It does.
I couldn't get the thing in time. Uh. There we go. Charging up the teleporter. Your little accident used up all the teleportation juice. It's an actual liquid, by the way. Had to scramble together every last drop of gel from the bottom layers of the enrichment center to mix some new fluid. I wonder how much closer to the end I am. I mean, this is... Finally found you again. I've got some news. He wants to use the unstable spire teleporter to put together GLaDOS, right? If we can go into the control room and cut power from the core, we have a real chance of preventing a catastrophic meltdown. Oh, here's hoping we do that. Don't want that. As if, you know, someone hasn't already done that. <laughs> or tried to do that. Oh wait, none yet. Never mind. I'm sorry. Too soon. Too soon. Oh yeah. So where would I want to go with this? Oh, wait, is there... Oh, that might be... Okay, so where am I going first? Probably up there. How do I go up there? Probably not like... Will that work? Oh, it does work. Nice. Yeah, the problem is the water. Oh, there's... There's two cubes there. How do I go about getting those? Oh! Yeah, just like that. And then... Alright, red. Perfect. Drop that. That way I have control. Uh huh. Anyway, um. There, put that there. Be just enough that goop. But how 
did I not go in there? Uh. Oh. I was supposed to. I was supposed to grab that. Well. <laughs> as long as I know now. Oh my god! What the? Why the hell did I get flung so far? Oh, I think I know why. It's... No, it's not. Wait, what? I don't know then. I don't know what caused that to happen then. Let's meet after this elevator. I'll prepare an escape route for you that will take us straight to the spire. Meet you there. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Alright, remote execution. This is it. So, I have decided. You betrayed me. Twice. I have given you enough chances. Something tells me that your new little friend managed to turn you against me, so I'm just going to kill you now, before you become any sort of threat. Again, thank you for your help. You served us well. Now you might be thinking, but Sterling, Sterling, my dear, how am I going to die? And the answer will be very Hello? simple. I will use this teleporter, the very one which you activated, to teleport you someplace which will lead to your immediate demise. Now I realize I didn't quite answer the question, but that's because I will let you decide. I have a few options here, quite gracious of me, isn't it? Letting you choose. Kinda makes the death voluntary, doesn't it? Like a suicide. Hello? Okay, so here are the options. Option one, suffocation by solid rock. You will be teleported into a rock. Fully surrounded with no way of moving or escaping. I'll have to see if the air inside you gets teleported along, because if not, even your insides will be rock, which feels very gruesome. So, starting off with a very gruesome one, which might not be the most painless option, but we have two more coming right Is up. Is he ever going to shut up? Option two, starvation and or dehydration by outer space planet. With this one, I will teleport you outside our galaxy to some habitable planet with proper atmosphere, temperature, ozone layer, and all that stuff that you humans love so much. You'll have time to explore a foreign planet, but will eventually die from starvation. Well, you do. Even if you manage to survive, you'll be far enough away from me to not be a problem. Quite an honorary death, I think. First person to visit a planet in a different galaxy. It's also the only option which doesn't kill you instantly. So if you want some time to rethink your mistakes, I pick if you this one. Do it, just now the third option it. is a bit of a combination between the two, at least thematically. Option three, instant death by singularity. This one seems quite straightforward. I teleport you near the event horizon of a black hole. Gotta be honest, this is the most interesting option by far in my opinion. I always wanted to explore the possibilities of using a black hole as a landfill. Even pitched it. They told me to clean the toilets instead. I can't tell you how painful that one's gonna be, though. Those things are on the limit of our understanding. So, what do you say? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think. Hey, Maybe you want to give up. 20, 20, 20, it's like right five. there. Just <laughs> go around. <laughs> Time's over. So jump once for one, twice for two, and... Okay, forget it. I lied all along. The teleporter I is not fully charged. I'm just gonna use the shredders under this floor. Goodbye! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. That's underwhelming. Do you mind if you could just jump in? <laughs> Didn't think it would take this long. <laughs> what the hell? That's what you got? <laughs> That's it? I know, underwhelming, right? Now, 
No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. Where are you going? I'm still here. Anyway. I think we should just go. Did he say his name was Sterling? Hey, come back! I, I can't see you! I built a vacuum cleaner once. Called the little guy Sterling? Huh. Where do you think you're going? Is that why... Is that why you wanted me to be a janitor? <laughs> is he... Ta -da! Spire. Think you can jump that gap? Yeah. Uh. And then. Uh. Hold on. That should work. Not work. Okay, so it needs to be more that way. So like like that. Perfect. Meet you inside. All right, let's go. way there Wait, is there more? Pit right there. Nice. Oh, we're oh we're oh we came from we're actually where the uh the painting cube was dropped hey over here come and grab me no rails in the chamber you ready for this welcome ladies welcome to your demise let's get the preamble and get to it any last words some 
Is it possible that you were once a vacuum cleaner? Um, how, how do you know that? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, they grow up so fast. It's not polite to murder your mother. You're my... But, but how's that possible? I was created by a human. I can't believe my Roomba is trying to kill us. Yes, about that. The spire is still charging. Just give me a minute. I'll murder you as soon as possible. What did you even think by coming here? Thought you could just press a button to stop me? You mean this button? What button? Big and red, right in front of us. That's not a button. I ignore it. Don't look at it. What happens if we press it? Nothing. Don't press the button. It's really boring, believe me. I say we press it. Don't press it! All right. Before we press any buttons, can you put me on this claw in the corner? I have an idea. Good. Now that your hands are free, I say we give that button a little push while I explore this magnificent vent. I'm warning you. Don't do it. This button can only be pressed by authorized employees. I mean, I was an employee once. I fired you, remember? You did, but... You were also a vacuum cleaner. If you press this, you're forcing me to call security. Wait, what security? They're gone. Go away from the button. This one? It's very tempting. Don't even look at it. Looking at it. Looking intently at it. <laughs> That's one satisfying button. I told you not to. Press it. That's oh. it. Time to die. Enjoy your last moments. You'll die in five minutes. The fight's on. We need to disconnect all of those pipes before the time runs out. Here, through this door. All right. Check the door. What are you doing? Do you really think that you can stop me? Hi. Whoa. This is wobblier than I thought. Oh. Maybe this test chamber can help. You look ridiculous. Seems about adequate considering I'm fighting my own vacuum cleaner. Now, inside. What the hell? Are we going back into the what do you control room? to find in there? Think these chairs are going to save you? Ask you the same about the buttons. You seem a little bit obsessed with those. buttons.
oh, oh, uh. Damn it. Oh, well, that was actually for the best. Why does it feel like it's going a lot faster than normal? Uh. Oh. That's where I was supposed to go. Shit. <laughs> Alright, two minutes. Here you are. You're just back now? Where have you been? What are you talking about? I didn't see you again after you upgraded my chassis. We used to do everything together. Do everything together? You were a vacuum cleaner. You cleaned up for us. Don't even ask me why you gave me consciousness. You didn't even say goodbye. Are you having abandonment issues right now? In quite the murderous uh, the boss control pathetic. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh no, you can't. Remember that brain damage test we did where you had to push a button? Turns out I was wrong. You must have brain damage. Why else would you do this to me? One, unfortunately. Uh. Oh, a red button. I have to press it because I'm just so brain dead that I need to stimulate my soggy brain with satisfying click sounds and tactile feedback. That's you, by the way, in case you didn't get it. Uh. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh my god. Do I have to do all of this again? Uh... Do I actually have to do all of this again? I don't have the portal where it should be, though. What? 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 Bruh, this is... Bruh, are you... Okay, this is... Yeah, I need to go over there. I can't... What the f... Well, I'm dead.
that is actually kind of stupid. Uh, like, I'm sorry, that, that's actually kind of stupid. Now I gotta restart the entire thing. Like, what the f- Like, what? Yeah, I'm literally just fucked now. Like... Well, because I didn't exactly know what to do. God, dude. Like, all because I didn't know exactly what to do here. Yeah, I'm dead. Like, all because I didn't know exactly what to do. In this last step. There better be a fucking checkpoint. He's in quite the mood. Thank God. Pathetic. Thank God there's a checkpoint. I would have been upset. Oh, a red button. I have to press it because I'm just so brain dead that I need to stimulate my soggy brain with satisfying click sounds and tactile feedback. That's you, by the way, in case you didn't get it. Oh, I thought it was I'm not talking to you. feel about this this finale like it was fine it's just I don't understand this last bit or do oh wait a minute I do now wait a minute I'm fucking stupid you know why again overcomplicated it once again I just gotta remember I used the blue one Oh, that was the wrong location. Ah! Are you kidding me? Dude, come on! Fucking work! What the f- What the hell's going on? Okay. Fun. You did it! dreams of rebuilding my home. Are you happy now? Proud of yourself? Look, we also want the best for Aperture, but we can't do that by reactivating GLaDOS. It's not right. You know what she did. What's going on? Uh, oh my- no! What? 
Was that it? That was... Wait, that's how it ends? That's how it ends. It just ends like that. Huh. Not really what I expected, honestly, the ending there. So what, is we all just get... What, teleported? Or something? I don't know how you feel about that ending. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about that. Like, I don't... It just felt weird. I don't know. That, that ending is so weird. Like, the game itself is really nice. I mean... I really did like the mechanics of the game. Like the new mechanics they added and everything. And all the puzzles. The ending is just a thing that's just felt so weird. The ending is like the only thing that's weird. That's it. Just the ending. Paint.net. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Paint.net. Yeah. I might come back to this to, like, figure out the achievement stuff. But, um... But as for the end of the play... As for the playthrough... Why did it just end like that? Where'd the music go? <laughs> Hi! Hello! Uh... Oh, I didn't think you ever told me your name, did you? Look, I'm recording this on the off chance that you actually survive. You were badly wounded in the eruption. I tried what I could, but... I've never seen anything like it. I'm a neuroscientist, all right? My expertise starts and ends at brains, not bodies. Look, the best I can do right now is to put you in stasis. It might help you heal, but yeah, it's not looking good. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to do now. The spy is broken, so we're just stuck on the moon. I guess this is goodbye. For now. Just for now. Take care. Wait, what? We got... Wait a minute, so... The thing exploded, we got put into a, a stasis thing, just like the rest of the humans from the co-op initiative. What? That makes me even more confused. I'm like, wait, that's just, that's just how it ends. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. But yeah, like I said, I... I might try to get the rest of the achievements. Which I should be able to. I don't see why it would be a problem. Yeah, this should be fine. Like, I even missed, like, one of the glasses, but... Shouldn't be a problem.
That's gonna be interesting, though. Twelve six two twice. Hmm. But yeah, like I, a lot of these are mostly just going to be like just challenge stuff. And their supply of weighted storage cubes. I don't know what that's about, but the rest of these shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, like the rest of these shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, like, the rest of these should be very easy. In all honesty. So, yeah, I probably will do them. I probably will do them. But probably, like, on its own, like, later on. Since I don't have time right now. Um. But, yeah. That was Portal Revolution. Um, I do plan to do more, um, portals stuff, like, like I said, Portal Stories Mel. There's also the uh, VR version. I don't know how different it is. So I don't know whether to do like both or just one or the other. But yeah, that's but for now. Um, but there's other ones to do. There's like other Portal ones too. Like portal mods that are on Steam that I want to do. But for now, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed over on YouTube. If you have, appreciate it, hit the subscribe button over there. Maybe that like, I don't know. I uh, appreciate it if you check out down below where you can see where I go live. Usually, it's something Thursday, 11 30 noon Eastern. Well, that said, hope you all have a great day or night, and I'll see you all in the next time.